This video is about a new medical textbook uh, that just came out. It's 2018 uh, with a chapter about coccyx dislocations and fractures, so tailbone dislocations and fractures. Uh, I'm Dr. Patrick Foy. I'm an MD or medical doctor. I'm the director of the Coccyx Pain Center or Tailbone Pain Center uh, here in the United States. I'm online at www.tailbonedoctor.com. And um, just within the last couple of months, uh, I announced a different medical textbook, uh, which was um, this one. It was an atlas uh, of uh, spinal injection uh, procedures. Uh, and this was one where I had uh, you know, written a chapter on uh, ganglion impar uh, injections uh, for this uh, medical textbook. Um, but now uh, there is just another one that came into print. Uh, this one is not so much on procedures, uh, but on general uh, musculoskeletal uh, sort of um, sports and spine uh, disorders. Uh, and this is a, this is a uh, medical textbook uh, mainly for physicians that practice um, musculoskeletal medicine, that treat sports and uh, injuries and other musculoskeletal uh, injuries. Uh, and basically the idea on uh, this book is uh, to help uh, those physicians to learn about uh, different topics. Um, and in this book, uh, the chapter that I wrote is specifically on coccyx, fractures, and dislocations. It is the very last chapter uh, in the book. Um, the idea of these uh, chapters uh, that I write in medical textbooks, um, I'm an academic physician in the sense that I'm full-time faculty at a medical school, uh, and educating not only patients but also uh, physicians is a large part of what I do as part of my uh, profession, as part of my career. Um, and in this case, um, really trying to spread knowledge about how to evaluate and treat um, patients with tailbone injuries. Um, so many, many patients uh, fly in to see me from around the country and uh, occasionally internationally. And very commonly, one of the things people will say is that their local doctors did not know very much about how to evaluate their coccyx pain or tailbone pain or coccyx injuries, uh, tailbone injuries. Uh, and uh, let alone how to treat them. Um, so in addition to the things that I publish uh, and write uh, for patients, um, I also try, of course, to continue publishing uh, for uh, other physicians to help them uh, with understanding these conditions as well. Um, so it is the very, very last chapter in this book. So chapter 102 out of 102 chapters. Uh, so the tailbone comes at the end. Um, but that's fine because it's in there, so hopefully will serve as a valuable resource uh, for physicians. Uh, you can see that this chapter is on uh, specifically um, coccyx fractures and uh, dislocations. Uh, this uh, image here showing uh, a fracture at the tailbone and then the text describing uh, all about that. Um, basically discussing here uh, everything from the uh, definitions uh, as far as fracture versus dislocation, um, the diagnosis of fractures and dislocations. Uh, there's another image here you may like to see. This is showing a dislocation uh, at the coccyx or tailbone right there where the arrow is pointing. Um, talking about uh, the things you know to consider, uh, how to make the diagnosis by your history, your physical examination finding, the different types of imaging studies, uh, getting the appropriate x-rays or MRI or in some cases uh, CT scans, bone scans, etc., depending on the specifics in a, patient, in a given patient, um, and then talking about the different uh, treatment options. Um, so again, um, many patients who are uh, watching my videos uh, will know me uh, from either the videos or the, or the online articles that I write or from the um, book that I've written specifically for patients, which is um, Tailbone Pain Relief Now. Um, but uh, the bulk of what I do over the last you know, 20 some years in academic medicine is actually um, working to educate uh, physicians as well, uh, which is uh, you know, through uh, textbook chapters and things along those lines. Uh, in here. So it is the last chapter, but the important thing is that it's in there to serve as a uh, educational resource uh, for physicians who are evaluating patients uh, with tailbone pain. Um, so this is one, this book I uh, would recommend certainly if you're a musculoskeletal physician, uh, you know, interested in learning more about a wide variety of musculoskeletal conditions. Uh, this is available through uh, Springer, which is a major medical publisher, uh, or certainly uh, available through your medical textbook uh, you know, bookstores and uh, online, of course, at Amazon, etc. 
Um, if you're a patient, more interested in reading from a patient perspective, um, that is that book has uh, you know is more for more geared for physicians. Um, this book, the book Tailbone Pain Relief Now, geared towards uh, patients. Uh, and this is 272 pages, um, and it has uh, chapters specifically on tailbone fractures and a chapter on uh, tailbone uh, dislocations, as well as a wide variety of other uh, tailbone-related conditions. Um, this book you can get online. Uh, easiest way is by going to uh, www.tailbonebook.com, and it will give you the links to the appropriate pages on Amazon in your different countries and things of that nature um, you know, to get the book, either as a paperback copy um, or in an electronic book, uh, ebook uh, version. Um, so uh, that's information about uh, the books and about uh, the new publication. For me, it's always exciting. This project for this textbook I've probably been working on for about I'm going to say about three years since I first started or was asked to, uh, to write the chapter. It takes a relatively long time for things to come to print uh, within the world of medicine. Um, so, you know, so I just thought I'd share that. It's always nice when it finally comes in, uh, in, uh, in print um, because that's when it can go out and make a positive difference, uh, hopefully, in the world. Um, if you're interested in coming to see me or find more information uh, you know, that I have about tailbone pain, you can find that on my website, which is uh, www.tailbonedoctor.com. Bye-bye.